plus 2x squared minus 2x minus 4. Alright? Now, here, my suggestion to you would be to take out a common, common factor for the first two terms without any rearrangement. So the highest common factor will be x squared, right, times, times x plus 2, right? Then the last two terms, you also take out a common factor. Since we have x plus 2 here, that means we need to create a binomial factor, which is x plus 2. And we'll check out minus 2 times x plus 2. Okay? Then, our common factor of this binomial is x plus 2. We take it out times. Now, by now, you should know that we just take this term, which is outside the bracket. So that will be x squared minus 2. Okay? Now, unfortunately, you cannot be able to factorize. This, this is not a difference of two squares. So you, can, you cannot factorize it any better. Yes? I did a It's fine. If you did this, okay. How did you do it? Uh, I swapped it around. I made x2 minus 2x plus 2x squared minus 4. Okay. Yeah, it's fine. And I'm also thinking that maybe the question could also be done by by writing this x cubed by rearranging, let's see. If I rearrange this way, I start with x cubed, okay? x cubed, then I'll say minus four plus two x squared minus two x, right? Now, if, if you do it like this, then I'm gonna end up having a problem here. You cannot factorize that, so it won't work. So probably maybe, your method will be a second way. Okay? But how do you throw it rather than just it? Yeah. So you can do it this way or the way that, that uh, Aryan is talking about. In the end, you should come to this point. But you can factorize x squared minus 2 anything. Okay? Right? Then the next question was number 16. Okay? So, number 16, I'm not sure how some of you did it, but I'm going to do it this way. It's a little bit complex, okay? If you try to factorize it as it is, you won't be able to factorize it completely, okay? If you, like, if you try to factorize it as it is. So, in my case, what I'll do is, all the terms in Px, I'll arrange them to, uh, together. So, number 16... I'm going to rewrite it. You have 6a squared times px minus 4ap squared y minus 6a squared py plus 4ap squared x. Okay? Now, if you try to factorize the first two terms, you are going to find that it will be very difficult for you to factorize it completely. So, I'll rearrange. You write the 6a squared px. Then I'll bring the 4ap squared x here. And so it becomes 4ap squared x. Once you do that, be aware that if I were to factorize here, my common factor of the coefficients will be a 2. X, sorry, a, 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 a 2. So I'll end up having a 3 inside brackets and a 2 there. So here, I just have to write as minus 6a squared py. Okay? Then I'll write this minus 4ap squared y. Okay? So I've rearranged it. <laughs> then the first two the coefficients, the highest common factor is a 3. Then I have a squared here, there is a there. So the highest common factor is a. There is a p here, there is a p squared. So I'll have a p there. There is x and x. So I'll put x there. What? Oh, sorry, I'm supposed to be a 2. 
Right? So I now have 2APX as my common factor. Then you open the bracket. Then here, 6 divided by 2 will give me a 3. A squared divided by A will give me A. P by P will give me 1. 6 divided by X will give me 1. Then that will be minus 2. Then A divided by A will give me 1. P squared divided by by P will give me a P, X divided by X will give me 1. Right, so that's my first binomial effect. Now, since I've created this binomial effect, I need to create it as well here. So, I'm going to factor out, okay, so that this, okay, I put, oh, this is supposed to be a plus. Right, because I took the positive 4 AP squared X, so it's supposed to be a plus. Let's put a plus, and this is a plus as well. Right? The following that. Then here, when I pick this, I must get 3a plus 2p. So, the first factor is going to be minus 3. Then, a squared and a, common factor is a there. Okay? Then, p and p squared, that will be a p. Then, y and y, I'll put y there and open the bracket. So, if you divide 6 by 3, so it's supposed to be a 2. I don't know why I'm putting a, a 3 where there's a 2. Yeah, this is supposed to be a 2. Because then the view is very question. So it's supposed to be a 2, this one. Then 6 divided by that, I'll get a 3. Then highest common factor of a squared and a is a. For p and p, if I divide those two, it's 1. Y, y, 1, so we get that. Then here you're going to end up having plus 2, right? A and A cancel out, P squared divided by P gives me a P, so I'll get that. Okay. Now, you can only get this after the rearrangement. So, term 4 of the original expression becomes term 2, and term 2 of the original question becomes term 4. Right. Okay. Now, this was the answer, the final answer now. We need to simplify this. So this will be 3a plus 2p times 2apx minus, sorry, 2apy. Okay, these two are, are not like terms. Okay, you can't subtract them. So we can leave them like that. But we can also factor out 2ap. Do you see that? Do you see that? Yeah, so if you are to factorize completely, it means for the second binomial, we need to check out the what? A common factor. And that common factor, we put it here. Which means at the beginning here, I could have taken out a common factor. Okay? Now you can do it at the beginning or you can do it when you get to that point. Do you see that there's a common factor there? Yes. Right? So if I take out the common factor, that would be 2. A P times 3A plus 2P times X minus 1. Okay, so that will be your answer. Now it's factorized completely. If you stop here, if you stop here, you have not factorized completely. Okay, by factorizing full, it means you must simplify until any expression, okay, cannot be factorized. So now we cannot factorize it any further. So this will be our final answer. All right? Any question there? Is it making sense? Right, so... Let's move on to the next question. Which question did I give you? 3, 2. Right, so I gave you B2. Right, so B2 is X squared minus A plus B times X plus A times B. Okay. Now, 
if you want to factorize this, right? As it is, you can't take out a common factor. So the only way is to remove the brackets first. Okay? So if you remove the brackets, you get x, x squared minus ax. Please take note, this x here multiplies the a and there's a minus, so it becomes minus ax. This minus 1 times the b times the x will give us minus bx plus ab. Okay? So the trick was the fact that you needed to remove the brackets first. Then, let's check if we can factorize and create common factors. If I take out a common factor here, it will be x. So I'll left with x minus a. Take out a common factor here. It's going to be a b. Okay, so I can swap these two. Do you see that? I can swap those two. But I can also leave them as they are. So if I take out the common factor of the two terms, first two terms, it's going to be x times x minus a. Okay? The first two terms are the common factor, and that's x. Then, since I created the binomial with x minus a, I must create it here. My common factor is going to be minus b times x minus a. Okay? Once you get there, you should start smiling. So this will be x minus a times x minus b. Okay? He started with x minus b. x plus b, x minus a. Yeah, it's fine. Remember, I told you that if you have your books. Two binomial factors like this, you can start with either of the two. The result is the same. Okay. Then, but we ask any question. Okay. Now, some difference of two cubes. 